Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to Persona 5. Let's carry on where we left off. It's been a wild Saturday night indeed. We survived the wrath of Masayoshi Shido, at least on the fourth attempt of trying to take the boss down. Uh, it was suggested to me that I probably should have maxed out Futaba's social link before heading into the boss fight. Apparently she would have protected me, much like Ryuji did uh, at one point, if I was going to die in one hit, thanks to that aggravating 7 HP that I didn't have. Um, but turns out we didn't need her in the very end, and well, now I've got 22 days to max her out. So, uh, all we can do now is wait for the change of heart. Everything's well, though. Even Ryuji survived. We may have beaten him to death later on, but he survived. <laughs> um, and, well, I guess we got a text, actually. Let's probably check that out before heading to bed. So freaking cool. From Mishima. Man, you guys nailed it! That was so exciting. I would never have imagined you were going up against Shido. I'm glad I kept the fan site running through all the criticism, too. I think I'll change up the survey question to commemorate your comeback. I'll obviously be answering yes this time. I believe in you. Stay strong. This guy never changes. Well, it sounds like he's looking forward to how it goes. All we can do now is wait too. True. Alright. Well, let's head to bed. Now all we have to do is wait for them to have a change of heart. Tonight you could take it easy. I don't know. Can I sleep? Will I be able to? Looks like we got a visit to Igor coming up. Surely there'll be a big party. I have saved the world, right? Okay, still in my prison bed. You'd think that uh, he'd let me out so I could shake hands with him, but it's fine. I've reconsidered my opinion of you, inmate. Oh, I'm thankful, Caroline. The look on your face seems to be that of a man who has accomplished a great deed. My smile's that big? Shit. To think you would use the trap set against you to entrap them. <laughs> I've never seen a dramatic resurgence such as that. Well, Truly what can I say? Marvelous. Those are the only words I can think of to describe you. Truly marvelous and handsome. Add that to your uh, list of words. Uh, I owe you a lot. We should be thanking you for entertaining us thus. <laughs> Mm -mm. You've even overcome a mysterious misfortune. Mysterious there misfortune? There should be no one left to hinder your rehabilitation. Right. Is it because Akechi is quote-unquote deceased? Your rehabilitation will be completed shortly. I, and what happens at the end of my rehabilitation? Actually, Igor, do you mind enlightening me? That is, if everything goes well without any problems. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maniacal laugh to round things up. The summary of the story up to this point has been updated. To read, press the triangle button, yada yada yada. Oh dear, this thing again. I forgot about this. Like, what does this mean? Morgana! Having the same dream. Damn. How many times have I had this dream? Or could it be that it's not a dream at all? What, a memory? My memories aren't any closer to coming back to me. I suppose there's only one thing left on our agenda, right? I mean, Cheeto has hinted at pretty much since the end of Kamoshida, although you could say hinted at from the very beginning of the game, but he never knew that uh, Shido was going to come back. But, uh, hmm. This is still one unresolved plot thread we gotta deal with. But might there be something I'm supposed to remember? <sighs> if... If I'm really not human... And if the truth of that comes to pass down in the depths of mementos, I... Could it be that I'll... Come on, Morgana. Max out your social link with me. Tell me what's going on. Whack. Oh no! You said my name, but not loud enough. Do you support the Phantom Thieves? It's up to 10%. Wow, people are desperate. It's happening again. A comeback tour. Right, well, at least I still don't have to go to school, right? Okie dokie, punk. You're free, right? You're in luck. I'm free too. Now that that's out of the way, there's something I want to tell you. Your time is mine. I know things are rough right now, but do you mind? I'm eating now. Maybe I should respond later. Yo. Oh, you're done eating. Here, I'll make you a nice cup of coffee to wash it down. Make sure you wash your plate. 
Will do. At least this place is clean now. Let's clean up first. We can respond to that message later. You're off today, so there's all sorts of time to respond. I mean, I'm off every day, because <laughs> I'm a dead man walking. Right, Futaba texted me, and I got Haru texting me as well. Someone else I need to max out my social link with. We've got 21 days. Who is going to make the cut? Let's have a look around, though. We can max up... Oh, sorry, not max up. We can rank up Futaba, and we can rank up Haru. Uh, let's hang out with Futaba today, maybe. Let me just make sure I've got the necessary personas. Hey, Futaba. I'm here. You texted me, even though, you know, Yo. you're just down the road. Everything's finished, right? All we're gonna do now is wait like always. Do you have some time? I think I want to talk. I'm getting close. Thanks to Bicorn. My bond will grow stronger soon. Nobody thinks I'm alive. Even <laughs> though, you know, quite a few of my confidants do. She promised her friend should go to school. Only one task remains. We're at rank 8 already, so we were actually pretty close to finishing up. We got emergency shift at rank 9. Chance to swap current party with backups when two or more people are KO'd. That could have been handy. <laughs> but uh, I ended up just reviving them all, didn't I? So, actually, maybe it would have been uh, a hindrance. Okay, well, let's hang out. All right. Let's do it in your room. Okay. Hey, listen. Kanachan and I have been sending tons of emails back and forth lately. She said she wants to go back to school next year, but she might not have the money. Oh, do you have to spend money to go to school in Japan? Are there no public schools? As for me, I... I'm gonna go back. See, I, I, don't, I wouldn't know too much about the Japan school system. I didn't even know they go six days a, a week. You've really matured. Let's not ask questions like that to put her <laughs> on the back foot. <laughs> I think I've gain gained like 50 levels in the past few months, and it's all because of you, Whack. I mean, you, you are level, what, 64? <laughs> Something like that. And I mean, sure, I hated elementary school, but I met Kanachan there, so maybe it wasn't all bad. Same goes for high school. Even if I hate it, I know something positive will come from it. That's good. But I still have to do the last item on my promise list. Right. Be around me. Uh, sorry. Be okay without me around. Well, if you go to school, I'm sure that'll be fine, right? Being okay without you around. Uh. Honestly, I've been feeling kind of weird lately. My heart's been beating real fast when we're together. Then even when we're apart, I can't stop thinking about you. Oh no, Futaba, I'm, I'm, I'm a taken man. Uh, are you okay, Futaba? Not at all. I'm more like, uh, no okay. But then again, I feel good too. Um. By the way, um, can I ask you a favor? It's, it's a pretty big one. Sure, what's up? Can, can we skip the last promise? What? No way. <laughs> you demon. <laughs> well, it was only two notes there. Maybe uh, I should have given her some lenience, but no. You made a promise to yourself. I'm here to encourage you, okay? I know you're only being strict because it'll help me, but... Yep, that's exactly right. I just... I can't be okay without you around. Futaba, you, you can do it, okay? I believe in you. Just have the confidence in yourself. All right? I'm not going to be around forever. Life doesn't feel the same when you're not with me. I mean, uh, not that, but... I don't know... Whack, you're always so nice to me. Kinda like Sojiro is. That makes sense for him, though. I mean, he's basically my dad. What do you mean that makes sense to him and not for me? What's wrong with being nice to people? You don't need a reason to be nice. Just be nice, be kind. You know, I feel like it takes more energy to be a dick, <laughs> to be angry, to be hateful. Carrying all that extra baggage around, you know, it's, it's not quite my style. But you don't have a reason like that, so... Why are you so nice? Um... Oh, oh, I just thought of a possibility. Am I... Um, the only one you treat like this? Uh... No, I'm nice to everybody, but I'm nice to you. I should choose my words carefully. I'm already in a relationship with another girl. I forgot about that. Not that I'm in a relationship, but I forgot that it's rank nine. Why, Whack? Because we're teammates. I'd really like to have another go around the campaign and just uh, start a relationship with Futaba. But then again, I haven't really seen anything come out of it, you know. I suppose it'll happen towards the end, I guess, because anything goes during the story. 
because we're teammates. Teammates. <laughs> right. Of course, teammates would want to be nice to each other. It, it's so obvious. I have a feeling she was hoping I'd say something else. Oh, it pains me to kind of, you know, hurt her like that. I don't know, but I'm guessing that's what she feels. That's gotta be why my heart's always pounding so much. I mean, you know, if Sojo is my dad, you could say we're like step siblings, maybe. It knows how much I care about my teammates. And you, Wack, my key item. All right. Can't drop me. From now on, I'm gonna devote every fiber of my being into supporting you guys. I feel a strong bond of trust from Futaba. I think we're gonna be ranking up straight away because I didn't see the stars in the notes. Emergency chef chance to swap current party with backups when two or more people are KO'd. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I like how I'm wearing shoes, but she's not. She respects my room. <laughs> oh, teammate, my teammate. Whack joined Futaba's party. Uh, it's the other way around, but I'll uh, indulge you. <laughs> Futaba is beaming at Whack. <laughs> Futaba attacks. Fatal damage to Whack. Hmm? Excuse me. Wait a second. That's not what teammates are supposed to do. Yeah, well, tell that to uh, Griefers and Counter-Strike. <laughs> Bye now! Laters! Sunday evening. Ah, you're back. I am. I still need to make sure that I've got enough requests to fulfill in mementos. I'm gonna guess that Shinya's got one, so I might need to wait until I rank him up, if I can. Maybe EY's gonna have one? Surely he does. The Yakuza member, right? I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you about something important. I'll put it in writing. Can you stop by today? I'll talk to you face to face before the job. The job? Jeez. I've already pulled off enough jobs, okay? My bond will go stronger soon with EY. That's great. But, uh... Still want to make sure that I've got the persona. Hang on. <laughs> As you ate dinner with his son, he sensed his father braving danger behind the scenes. We'll get expert customization afterwards. Allows you to customize high-grade guns. Which is good, because I think I'm starting to wade into the expert... Uh, into the high value gun territory and I haven't been able to customize them right uh, decide later let's go have a look around I did uh, take care of the shopping channel before which is great so let's just go to the velvet room once again hi you I'm up what's the job that you need taking care of oh, it's freezing it's been really cold lately but I gotta be careful careful of dust and humidity static electricity is the enemy of detailed work so I gotta keep an eye out for it so you're here because you saw my message right wanna work there's something I need to talk to you about. Feeling closer thanks to Huapo. My bond will grow stronger soon. Everyone thinks I'm dead, so I'm perfectly capable of performing whatever uh, job you need. <laughs> Check bond. <laughs> right, I've already checked my bond. Forgot about that. <laughs> Let's go. Hang out with him. Good. All right, come to the back. Actually... Listen up, kid. I figured out Suda's weakness. While you and Karu were over at that diner, I was out getting info from a reliable source of mine. Turns out I guessed right. Tsuda was the one on the other end of the Hong Kong Mafia deal. Apparently he paid them off for a huge arsenal of guns. <laughs> interesting. This is where things start getting interesting, though. If he was smuggling all that shit in, why would he come to me asking for modified guns? I mean, don't something about that seem off to you? Uh, uh absolutely. <laughs> right. Well, it worked. That piece of shit's trying to lord his position over me. But he ain't got shit now. What I'm really saying here is... I don't think those Hong Kong guys ever delivered on their end of the deal. They probably just took his money and flat out stiffed him on the guns. <laughs> Ripped off, huh? Must have told me something real weird back when you and Karu were over at the diner, though. Hmm. Apparently. The clan's been treating that Hong Kong transaction like some kind of massive business success. That means Tsuda's been lying on this the whole time. And now he's trying to use me to cover up his mistake. Right, because if they find out he lied... What a crafty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Everyone's always known he's one sneaky son of a bitch. <clears throat> Don't matter now, though. Everything's gonna change once I tell him the clan's... Once I tell the clan what's up. Tsuda's not gonna be able to keep intimidating me anymore. And I'll make sure Kaoru Wood won't get labeled. Like I was. He'll be a regular, respectable adult. Something I never could have never even dreamed of. Oh, come on. He's still got it, right? Everyone likes a good redemption story. I'm gonna have to talk to Tsuda himself first, though. 
Gotta follow the Yakuza code. Yo. Hey, I got a favor to ask you. If anything happens to me, take care of Kaoru, okay? Okay. Are you going alone? Probably. I know he'd be able to get rid of me no problem without a witness there. But I've got to put an end to this. Hey, come on, man. Karu needs you, okay? Put this business behind you. Besides, nobody would want to... Uh, I do. Wait a sec. I've got you. I'm already dead. <laughs> what are they going to do? Kill me twice? That's right. I want you to come talk to Tsuda with me. He's not going to dare lay a finger on a civilian kid. It'd cause way too many impl complications for him. If you come as my witness, things will be miles safer. Good. All right, then. It's settled. Cool. Well, I didn't exactly volunteer, but inside I was. <laughs> oh, and let me think of a reward. I've got to thank you for the info. For being my witness. <laughs> How about I work even harder on that special menu? That should be good for you, yeah? Sure. Feels like my bond with EY is growing even deeper. Well, then I definitely will be guilty of something criminal. Expert customization allows you to customize high-grade guns. All right. Rank 7. Well, I'll hit you up when it's time. Let's do this, kid. Later. Thanks for today. Right. Well, the percentage hasn't changed too too much. Meanwhile, what's going to happen at the election? Oh, that ban at these thing? Probably doesn't matter. He said his, the claims were baseless. It must be a smear campaign by the opposition. How low is that? I'm worried about Chido-san. I don't want him to lose. Jeez, all that time. Like, surely they could have done something like read a book, watch TV or anything. Nope, straight to after school. I mean, not that that really matters. I've got all my social stats pretty much ranked max, except for, I think, guts and kindness. Um, well, Haru's the only person I can hang out with, really, that I haven't maxed out. So, looks like we're going to her. Jeez, is it really safe to be coming to school? Like... But I'm supposed to be dead. So what are you going to do now? I can only go to the school gate. Let's head to the rooftop. All right, let's sneak past everyone and go up the emergency exit. Jeez, Haru, couldn't you have met me like somewhere else? Hey. I'm like, you know, hey. hiding in plain sight at this point. Nobody should have mental shutdowns anymore, yes? That aside, what brings you to this rooftop, Waikun? Came to see you. Thank you. Why, thank you. Oh, yes. There was something I wanted to talk with you about. I've thought a great deal, both about Takakura-san and the company. Do you have some time to talk today? Film will come closer thanks to Yaxni. Bond will go stronger soon. Nobody thinks I'm alive. <laughs> Yet here I am at the school. Skeptical about the company's coffee venture, she decided to talk with the new president. We'll get endure. A chance to withstand an otherwise fatal attack with one HP remaining. Awesome. Hang out with her. Yes. Okay, thank you. You see. Hey! Raccoon, do you remember the magic item I mentioned before? The thing that will help me show Takakura-san how I really feel? It's right here. Uh, the soil? <laughs> Correct. Oh, good. <laughs> it's been a while, actually. I just figured it was the soil. You see, the soil here is a special mix I made with a few different kinds of fertilizer. It's very high quality. It's soft, it's warm, has good drainage, and it's full of nutrients. This, this is the magic I need. To be honest, I'm not very good at expressing myself with words. Just thinking about it makes my heart race. But I've been pouring my heart and soul into the soil for months now. It knows exactly how I feel. Um. That's why I'm going to use it to grow my coffee plants. Then once they're ready, I'm going to make coffee with the beans. It shouldn't be much longer now. Honestly, just raising those plants has taken considerable effort. I've checked on them every day, given them water, put them in the sun, but all of that love and care has found its way into the beans themselves. Combining that with the nurturing warmth of the soil should give me the perfect way to convey how I feel. I wonder what Takakura-san will think when he tries it. Hmm. It'll help him understand you. I fully believe in that. <laughs> it's strange. Only recently I was struggling to find belief in anything. By the way, 
I've thought about it some more, and I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to Takakura-san's idea. If that's what management decides to do, I won't get in their way. At the same time, I can't support them if their main goal is to deceive. What I mean is, people don't think of Okuma Foods very highly right now. So, I'm afraid management is trying to use this new chain to sneak under the radar rather than rebuild our image. I mean, surely they have to see what a lost cause it is at this point. They need to rebuild the image, you know, if they're going to survive. This is a chance for all other food corporations to just gobble them up. You know, goodwill, an intangible asset, is very much valuable, and they should work to increase that value, the image of their company. Of course, I understand how hard it is to rid yourself of a negative label. That too, but all you can do is try, right? At least get people talking about your good deeds rather than your bad deeds. But... It's better than doing nothing at all. But if they want to fool people with a low-quality product instead of regaining their trust, I will proudly oppose them. <laughs> I'll be cheering for you. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Wakun, it's so reassuring having you here. It's because of you that I was able to cultivate the soil. And because of you that I have the same that I have the courage to tell Takakura-san how I feel. Um Speaking of which, um, do you think you could be there when I do it? As long as you're with me, I won't be able to I won't be afraid to say what I'm thinking. Sure. I can sense an earnest resolve from Hara. She's trying desperately to reach rank 10 on most of my All confidants. Right. I think we can write off Oya at this point. Now then, I need to take some of the soil home to my coffee plants. Could you carry a bag for me? Sure. Goodbye. I'll see you later. Monday uh, evening. You're back. Another box came for you. What'd you get? Ah, my hot water pouch. Times two. Must be what you order off the TV. Sure is. Uh, no texts. That's a bit concerning. You sure come here a lot. I do, I though. Do I really? <laughs> oh yeah. Hello. Hmm. I wonder if the Phantom Thieves leader really died. There hasn't been any comment from the police. I don't like that detective. The uh, catchy guy? He's so cocky. The higher-ups are starting to get tired of one-off articles. You have anything good to share? Oh, closer thanks to Nebiros. My bond will go stronger soon. Check bond. Got any news? Her boss appeared and we acted quick to hide our independent investigation from him. We'll get to outrageous scoop at rank 7. It delivers the same effects as rumor filled scoop but to incredible effect. Which was of course never really useful to begin with. So we're gonna go through three ranks just to increase the effect of something I never used. Fantastic. Well, you know what? Let's go. Well then. If we can max Oya out up as well, like, geez, then I really have accomplished everything. All right, let's hear it. Oh? Hmm, so that ace detective is serious, huh? Well, he's no longer on this plane of existence, supposedly. I see. Oh yeah, there's something I need to apologize to you about. You know, it's part of my job to research particular things. Well, um, I ended up finding out about your criminal record. Cool, so you're digging into me, when you should be digging into the Phantom Thieves. Not that, you know. <laughs> we're, we're different. <laughs> I realized you weren't just some ordinary kid back with my chief. So I did some digging out of curiosity, and I found a ton more than I was expecting. Sorry. So, sorry about that. Gee, thanks. You're so wonderful. I have to say, though, the ruling made in your case was really odd. Some kind of deal must have gone down behind the scenes to make sure that was the end result. Yeah, well, I've already sorted it out, so it's fine. Um... Your information is already outdated. That must have been tough for you to handle. You're just a kid. <laughs> well, just forget about the past. We're in the same boat when it comes to being labeled. Um, because of your incident. Because of your investigation. Exactly. I'm going to avenge my partner for... Whoops. <laughs> Almost slipped, huh? Lala-chan, refill. No, it's your turn to tell the truth. You can't go rooting around in the kid's past and expect to keep your own secrets hidden. Thank you, Lala. I, I like Lala. She's great. Wait, don't blame me for that. He doesn't have anything to do with my private business. Excuse me. You can trust me. I mean, 
It's not like I don't trust you. And hold on a sec. Why am I getting treated like the bad guy? Look, you're gonna feel way better talking to someone who understands exactly what you're going through. Besides, you'll explode if you keep all that alcohol-fueled anxiety bottled up in you. That's true. And... I guess this is the fairest course of action for our business partnership, huh? Exactly. Partnership. Not a one-way street. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Who is it gonna tell? Back when I covered politics for my publisher, I had a partner who helps with photography. Kayo Murakami. We were a well-known team in the industry. We blew the lids off countless scandals together. That is, until that day came. We were on the trail of a certain bureaucrat who was involved in a slush fund to support refugees. He kept himself pretty well guarded, so it was almost impossible to get any solid leads on the guy. Then one night, I got a voicemail from Kayo saying she had gotten hold of something pretty big. But that was the last I ever heard from her. The next day, that bureaucrat was found dead at a love hotel, and Kayo had gone missing. What was the cause of death? Well, the cause of death is unknown. The authorities couldn't tell whether it was a murder or a suicide. As for the killer... Shit. The police accused Kayo. They said she killed him in a crime of passion. That's impossible, though. She never would have slept with a disgusting man like that. Hmm, so we're gonna need to rescue Kayo, huh? And more importantly, it's pretty damn fucked up to make allegations like that without any evidence. Ichigo-chan. Sorry. The case was closed, but we never found the truth. And Kaya was labeled a professional disgrace. And since we were partners, the company decided it would be best for me to move to another department. I'm going to prove Kaya's innocence, though. That's why I'm conducting my own private investigation now. Sounds unforgivable. You're damn right. But thanks to all the info you've given, you've been giving me, I should have more time to focus on my investigation. Just realized that's the first bit of notes that I've earned this entire conversation. Jeez, she's a hard nut to crack. I won't let this opportunity slip through my fingers. All right, we're even now. I didn't enjoy it though. You're sure about that? It's been ages since I've seen you smile this much. Well, maybe you're right. I haven't felt this alive in a long time. <laughs> okay then, I'll write a great article to commemorate our sharing session. Exclusive. The Phantom Thieves' lofty ideals in connection with a secret society. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't worry, I'll definitely come up with a better headline before we go to print. I feel like my bond with Oya is growing deeper. Slowly but surely. The Ice Queen. I mean, there's a reason why her Arcana's dibble. All right. Hmm. Still, there's just one thing that bothers me. There's no doubt the chief is onto my investigation. <laughs> Maybe we should keep acting like a couple so we can trick him. How's that sound? Oh, leave the kid alone. Hey, it's getting late. Shouldn't you be heading home by now? I've got a criminal record, okay? I can do as I please. Especially in Jinjuku. Jeez, not even a buy comment. The percentage still hasn't changed. Jeez, what's it gonna take? No training? Maybe. Depends. Can't hang out with Futaba. I can't hang out with Haru. But I feel like Shinya's a little less available than Haru is. Hmm. He's gonna be the one that takes the longest to rank up. Currently he's only at rank 3 and I feel like he's got a mementos request. We'll get ammo pouch at rank, at, uh, rank 5. Seven days, they'll take us to 12. Yeah, I think I've got plenty of time to rank up Shinya. Let's go see him today, huh? Hey buddy, I'm here for my training session. I don't know how much more useful they're going to be though. Mm. The Phantom Thieves are alive. I believe in them. In any case, you're getting really good, mia san You're going to train today too, right? If we come closer thanks to Sith, my bond will go stronger soon. Chick Bond. Right. He was harassed at school due to his mother, but he believes it was because he is too weak. We'll get ammo pouch, right? So he believes he's weak. Study under him. 
All right. Okay. Let's just play a game then. Hey. How are the Phantom Thieves doing? I'm still rooting for them. I hope they don't get discouraged and quit. Uh, didn't you see what happened on Saturday night, or were you too busy in here? They ain't quitting. <laughs> They're back and better than ever. Aww. The war's still going on. All right, of course, the war with his bullies. It's probably because they think I'm weak. If only I was as strong as the Phantom Thieves. Hey, kid. You may be small, but you played a great game. What? So being big is better? <laughs> My bad. I didn't mean it like that. I just thought we should be friends, since we're both gamers. Familiar young man. What's that supposed to be? The name's Takakuma. I make a living from gaming, more or less. Ever heard of me? Huh? Takakuma? The pro gamer? Yeah. You're the guy from all those videos online. And you're the one they call the king, right? I've always wanted to play you. But I don't know if it's a good idea. I mean, if I beat you... Your rank will definitely drop. And I don't need people bashing me for bullying a kid. You bastard! You just called me weak? That's it. We're playing. I won't lose. As I expected of the king. Okay, let's get this started. All right. I'm gonna win. I have to. Something tells me he's not going to win. Not that I, no you know, <laughs> shouldn't have faith in my uh, teacher. Uh, how? King is getting destroyed. That's Takakuma, isn't it? He's awesome. Huh? I missed. He's buckling under the pressure. The king lost. Th that doesn't count. Let's play again. You got it. Wow, that's ten losses in a row. The king got slaughtered. <laughs> that's hilarious. <sighs> One more. One more game. Oh my god. Shinya is me. <laughs> Refusing to lose. A stubborn person. Wanting to win it no matter the cost, yet I end up losing more than winning. <laughs> no matter how many times we play, the end result will be the same. We should probably stop. For your sake. Shut up! You bastard! You cheated, didn't you? Calm down. I, I am calm. I wasn't supposed to lose. Man, I guess the king is just a little kid after all. Looks like I overestimated your ability. I'd feel bad beating you again, so I'm going to go. Make sure you practice for the next time we play. Damn it. You've got to be kidding me. It's okay, man. Just take a step back, relax, then get your revenge. I will. I'm the one who's going to win in the end. If I lose, it's all over for me. I'm gonna beat him next time for sure. This isn't over. The strongest always win in the end. Just like the Phantom Thieves. Watch. I'll win for sure next time. I think... Just don't put too much pressure on yourself. Because I feel like that's what I do. And that's what screws me over every time. I got this guy. I don't know. Some of you may know about him. My nemesis. He works with me. He went to school with me. Beats me in every game that I play with him. I swear. I've had my Crash Bandicoot speedruns, beats me every time. Board games, beats me every time. I swear. He's got some sort of winning gene in him and it just angers me so. <laughs> I'm not a loser. You'll see. Shinya's more motivated than ever before. Okay. Might need to visit Chihaya after this because I don't think I got enough notes right. to rank up. Similar to the other guy. Crap, it's late. I gotta go. What? Man, that Takakuma, though. Telling me to practice for next time. Growing up shouldn't spend so much time playing video games. Ouch. Shit, dude. <laughs> you talking to me? Interacting with Shinya has made my heart grow. I feel like my kindness has increased. Not that it really matters. Guts is the only thing I haven't ranked up to the max. And well, I Bye. suppose I'll only rank it up if I need to, right? Today tired me out. I'll see you later. Ah, you're back. I am. Hello. It's finally all over. All that's left now is to wait and see the results. Everyone will surely understand when they see Shido after he's had his change of heart. He better apologize on national TV. Oh, he will. To be honest, this excitement makes me somewhat anxious. 
It does, right? Because we've seen that those uh, wealthy people were relying on Shi Shido to get stuff done, probably to benefit themselves, but are they capable of really eliminating him, taking him out? We've seen that Shido is the top of the crop when it comes to the mental shutdown, so no one's going to go inside his mind and shut him down. But there's always the possibility of him getting killed IRL. He can't be helped. Nobody else understands his true nature yet, after all. Apart from his partners in crime. People will get it, right? Let's believe. I don't know if they will. We've done even more than we could have hoped for at this point. All we can do now is wait. A text from... <laughs> oh yeah, who's thirsty for info. Gross. Okay, come on, let's go. Hey Chihaya, here for another fortune reading. Tricks to who shall aid me. I wonder what this means. If only you could see it clearly as I am standing right before you. Get a fortune reading. What shall we do? Affinity. And we're gonna go for uh, Shinya, please. 5,000 yen. Got plenty of it. Got a thousand times that amount. I'm here to spin big. Now that you can't scam me go. anymore. Alrighty, well, doesn't look like it uh, worked out, but that's okay. Time to meet with Oya. Just uh, advance our bond a little bit, or at least get closer to the next rank. I am coming here a lot, you're quite right. Hmm. For better or for worse. Phantom Thief leader, not dead. Don't like the detective, you and me both, at least until he kind of redeemed himself towards the end. Though, of course, redeeming himself is a bit debatable. <laughs> Let's just say that, you know, he uh, took a step in the right direction. But then again, he's likely to be dead. Uh, hang out with her. Then take a seat. They'll have a lemon lime and bitters, please. Oh, yeah, seems happy. I provided her with some info. Oh, well, that's right. I have something Oya might like. I saw the stars, so it's fine. My bond will go stronger soon. Well, then. Okay, bye. May just be election shit. <laughs> yep. There's a viral campaign going on. Just to get Shida re-elected. Going on the votes of sympathy. This might be the first time I actually care about an election. Isn't Cheeto cool? How about you? A charismatic politician can make even apathetic young people excited, hmm? Not only does Mr. Cheeto have good judgment and decisiveness, he has important qualities as a leader. Like communication skills. Don't you think his words are easy to understand and resonate with you? Yeah, they're full of shit. And, well, there's a lot of gr people groveling it up these days. Everyone's getting tricked by his facade. They don't know it's all lies. We have to make him show his true colors. Meanwhile, I'm just chilling at home. Nothing controversial here. All right. We've got Futaba. We can max out, which is cool. Um, doesn't look like anyone else, though. Shinya's not here. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's go hang out with Futaba. She's just outside, right? I'll save Chihaya's fortune reading for later, just in case I need to use it on EY or something. I can't quite remember if I can advance or not with him. Hey. Yo. Everything's finished, right? All we gotta do now is wait like always. Hey, Wack, I'm ready. Let's do the last thing on my promise list. I feel like my bond with Futaba will grow stronger soon. Okay, check bond. <laughs> what I should have done before entering Shido's palace. Realizing that she doesn't want to be apart from her friends. Her bond with you has grown tighter. Oh, we get two abilities. Final Guard, chance to nullify a fatal attack to a current party member. That's what you guys mentioned. And Second Awakening transforms her persona into a mythological trickster. Okay, well, we got the Necronomicon. What's it going to turn into? The Darkhold, perhaps? <laughs> Let's hang out. The last thing on the promise list. Being okay without you around. I think I want to give it another shot. All right. I'm coming for you, Akihabara. Here it goes. I'm going to go take a look around by myself. Okay, I'll be hiding in between the shelves. You won't even notice I'm there, so you'll feel alone. Okay, is that all right? Or maybe I'll just go to the security room and look, you on, look at you on the security cams. If I'm not back in half an hour. Oh my gosh, alert Sojiro. Just stay here and wait for me to come back. Okay. I'm kind of nervous, but here I go. Time to make like a tree and branch out. <laughs> She's establishing her roots. 30 minutes have passed. She's still not back. Uh-oh. Gotta go in after her. Futaba's been gone for 45 minutes. I'm starting to get worried. There she is. Sorry, I totally forgot to check the time. Goodness me. Almost came after you, you know. Actually, you know, 
Maybe I would have waited another 15 minutes. I, um, I was having fun. Oh. Guess that means I beat my mission, huh? Sounds like it. You know, it was the same Akihabara as before, but everything looked so different to me this time. That's good. A nice change of perspective. It's not just here, though. My whole world is expanding. Every day brings new and different discoveries. That's always cool, right? To just learn and discover new things every day. Ah, oh, to be a kid again. That's what I like about going on vacation, you know? Just getting a different experience every day and just expanding your horizons. Soji Rose Cowlick, the atmosphere of Yongen, the various types of coffee beans. <laughs> She's definitely going to have her second awakening. Things might be the exact same as they were yesterday, but from my perspective, it's all spinning. Okay. I knew spinning. It was possible. But I had never really felt that sensation before now. You didn't buy anything on the Akihabara, Akihabara streets, did you? I just hope I can keep changing little by little, like everyone else does. Just baby steps every day. No zero days, Futaba. You can do this. I won't say we'll do it together because the whole point of this is to, I can do it now. you know, <laughs> be okay without me around. Store. Hey, well done. It sounds like she's just happy to be living life like a normal teenager. Well, aren't we the best Phantom Thieves around? Plus, she got study guides with the money she made. She's gonna take the high school entrance exam. There's high school entrance exams? Even Kanachan's trying to step out into the world. Man, Japan's education's hardcore. You want a job too? It's not a competition. Phantom thieves are more important right now. True. That is your job, I guess. You earn good money. But I'd like to. Someday. It's funny, I don't really split my money with my crew, do I? <laughs> As the leader, I just collate all the treasure for myself. And we're gone, I hey, guess. You said you'd give me a reward if I completed my promise list. Remember? Okay. Here's a hundy. Take it. You remember that? I'll have you know my memory is impeccable. Yeah, it is. To my chagrin. You know, I was looking in a bunch of stores thinking about what to buy, but it felt kind of weird. There were plenty of things I wanted, but it was all stuff I could get if I worked really hard. Mm -hmm. And after all, I already have something I wouldn't have been able to get on my own. You don't think so? No, you're forgetting. You gave me something really important. What's that? Courage? You gave me my life back. Oh, that's sweet. Hey, you were someone in need, and we reached out to you. It's thanks to you that I learned I'm fine just as I am, and that I learned to trust my mom again. I'm glad, because she must have been just screaming out in despair, trapped within herself, you know? Unable to just break out. I was as good as dead, but you resurrected me. I want to use my work with the Phantom Thieves to return you the favor. Of course. And when I remember all the friends I've made, it's like I'm tapping into some kind of unknown power. That was our advantage over Akichi, right? Our bonds. Tapping into unknown power. I feel a strong bond with Futaba. Here she goes. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Just tidying up the rest of my confidants. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the hermit, <laughs> granting thee infinite power. Ultimate secret of the hermit. Alright, final guard. Chance to nullify a fatal attack to a current party member. Transforms your persona into a mythological trickster. Alright. Unleash yourself. All right. You can now fuse Ongyo Ki, the most powerful persona of the Hermit Arcana. It's evolving. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Whoa! My heart just leveled up. A new me rises from the ashes. Wow! What is that? All right. <laughs> Futaba's persona ne Necronomicon has transformed into Prometheus. That's awesome. And then you back to reality. Gave me my life back, so it's my turn to risk my life for you. Hey, don't go too crazy, all right? 
Feel free to tell me anything. I'll do whatever I can to help. I know you will. I'm serious, okay? You've already done enough. You faked my death, <laughs> okay? I gave you your life back, you pretended to take mine away. I'm counting on you. Leave it to me! And? And? I never said I was gonna let my reward go unclaimed. Almost got out of it, damn it! Jeez, where's my attorney? So, let me see. Please just be sour snakes or something. How about a month's supply of instant yakisoba? Pretty good deal, huh? Just a month? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to order it off the net, though. Let's go look for it in the real world. Okay. Now I know how much fun walking around can be. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Treasure skimmer. Find out if a foe is carrying a rare item ahead of time. Wow. Alrighty. Don't mind if I do. I'm back. Ah, you're back. That's what I said. Well, geez, no one's out today. Can't meet with anyone. Everyone else, I'm maxed out. Maxed out Kawakami. Maxed out Hifumi. Chihaya, Oya. Aren't even there. I can't even hang out with Oya. My gosh, my options are limited. What do I do? Do I just try and level up guts then? Maybe? Hey. I won't. Don't worry about me. Alright, deepen my friendship with Shinya. Might as well use the Velvet Room, get my network fusion in, and then... Is this the theater that lets me level up my guts? Yep. Okay. We'll buy a ticket after. Hey, how are the Twin Wardens anyway? Now. I'll verify the status of your penal labor. Well done. You have completed all assignments on the list. But please do not stop here. Hmm. You're in rehabilitation till the moment you step through the iron bars. Got that inmate? Okay, so... Only then will I be finally allowed to leave. Right, well, I got a movie to catch. See you later, my friends. Oh, sorry. You can call it break time. Oh, nope. Return to reality. That's it the is one. time, inmate. Not as good as you were before? That's good to know. Jeez, still haven't leveled up my guts. Oh, well. That's fine. Tonight was a write-off anyways. Oh, man, it's December. December 1st. That Phantom Thief is still alive? Is this for real? I may have to be lying. There's no proof. His approval rating is still the same. I mean, I can't imagine anyone but Cheeto in office. Cheeto's gonna win. I hope he becomes Prime Minister soon. The only thing he's gonna be Prime Minister of is solitary confinement. It's already December. What a tough year. What was that strange broadcast hijack? I thought the Phantom Thieves were done for. Masayoshi Shido will save us. This country will prosper under his leadership and administration. Yeah, can't help but get my hopes up. Next year's looking good. I should have known. Even after all we've exposed, they are still so blind. It seems we must have Shido confess himself. But you see, that's the thing, right? We change hearts. Who's to say we don't, like, you know, change his heart to make him confess his sins that uh, aren't even his, you know? We could have, like, basically forced him to give a false confession and everything. Not that, you know, it is a false confession because we know it is true, but in the public size, you know? A couple of texts. We got Shinya and we got Haru. 69% completed. Nice. All right, once again, we walk amongst the public. Incognito. Let's head to the rooftop. All right, let's sneak past everyone and go up the emergency exit. I don't know if it should be growing fruit or not. I think we don't really need to at this point, right? Maybe just in case. Hey! Nobody should have mental shutdowns anymore, yes? That aside, what brings you to this rooftop, Wacom? You, and the vegetables. <laughs> that makes me happy. These vegetables should grow nicely here. What do you think? Uh... Sun tomato. They'll be done by the 6th. Not bad. Now, down to business. Came to see thank you. you. Why, thank you. I managed to secure an appointment to meet up with Takakura-san. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like you to join us. Do you have time today? I guess I can be your bodyguard. <laughs> I feel like I'm closer thanks to Yaxni. My bond will grow stronger soon. Check one. <laughs> She's asked you to accompany her when she serves her coffee to the new president. We'll get protect. Chance to shield Joker from an otherwise fatal attack. Hang on. I'm sure I'll be able to express myself if you're there with me. Well, I'll contact Takakura now. So, you'd like me to try this? Yes. 
please, if only a taste. This wasn't made with particularly expensive beans, nor was it brewed by any sort of coffee expert. Here he goes. Looks like it's black coffee. Sad to say, I've gotten used to drinking it now, if only to save myself on the calories. Hmm. This flavor. Interesting. A anyway, what is it you want to discuss with me? Does it, dis does it concern the company? My apologies for bothering you at such a busy time. It's not a problem. Um. The truth is, after my father's passing, I couldn't bring myself to trust anyone at Okumura Foods. I see. That includes you, Takakura-san. That's quite cruel. I'm sorry. My apologies. Now then, um, what I wanted to discuss is... I wouldn't call it cruel. It's just being cautious. Believe, believe in yourself. No, I'm here for you, Tucker. <laughs> right. I'll be okay. Um... Takakura-san, what do you think of that coffee? I grew the beans in my own garden, and even handled the preparation. What? I honestly don't believe it's a particularly good cup of coffee. And you served it anyway. <laughs> but I put my heart into making it. Nice. That's why I asked you here today, Takakura-san. Oh, he's going for another sip. That would have been quite concerning for Takakura. Maybe that's why he said that's quite cruel. He's like, you don't trust me, and you're making me drink this liquid that you prepared? Oh my. But, uh, looks like he's fine. Hmm. I'm not suggesting we need to put this level of effort into the Okumura Foods coffee chain. Yeah, that would be impractical, but I, I see what you're trying to get at. And I'm not suggesting we should put a halt to the plan either. What? However, I won't let my company serve low-quality food to our customers. You know, this is very similar to the coffee your grandfather used to make. Excuse me? What? I used to be a regular at his cafe. That's actually how I ended up joining the company to begin with. To be honest, I was strongly opposed to closing the cafe. But I didn't have the power to make that decision at the time. I was planning on naming the new chain after his shop to make up for that, though. I'm going to create a business that is loved by customers and employees alike, just as his cafe was. A place where people can come to drink in the subtle joys of life. Is that so? Haru-chan, I believe you have every right to distrust us. After all, things would have turned out differently if only someone had chosen to stand up to your father. Be that as it may, I can truly sense the passion you put into this coffee. It seems you really are like your grandfather. No. Uh, I I'm sorry for being so rude. I must apologize as well for encouraging you to abandon your shares. I thought they would be a burden to you. But I was clearly wrong. Haru-chan, if you'd like, why don't you take part in our next company meeting? Me? The truth is, the rumors of my being pleased at your father's death were troubling, to say the least. I understand not everyone agrees with the vision I have for this company, but I've spent great effort struggling against our board of directors to push Okumura Foods back on the right path. What I need is to communicate that thought as clearly as possible. I suppose that's where you're coming. Just as you did with this coffee. Do you think you could assist me in accomplishing that? I want to rebuild this company from the ground up. Um, well, um... Give it all you got, her. Okay. Um, I would be glad to join you. Excellent. Your grandfather would be proud. As would your father. By the way, the coffee was superb. You have my thanks. Thank you very much. It was very superb. So superb that I'm afraid to drink it because the quality is just so great and I want to preserve it for a lifetime. <laughs> and... 
Uh, it seems I made yet another misunderstanding. I thought you were dead. <laughs> and I'll be like, whoa, 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 shit, you know. I was under the impression that you were quite thrilled about the arrangement with Sugimura-kun. That is why I was so insistent on hurrying the marriage. I wanted you to have all the support you needed. But it appears as though you prefer the young man next to you instead. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't drinking my coffee right now. <laughs> President Takakura dropping the observation bombshells. Huh? Uh, um. Be honest, Haru-chan. What are your thoughts on Sugimura-kun? I don't love him. I think he's an intelligent man, but I have no interest in him. I have no interest in being his wife either. I would prefer to walk my own path, one in which the only person in control of my actions is me, not my father, and not Sugimura-kun. I understand. <laughs> You've grown so quickly, Haruja. I didn't realize you would become, or well, you became, such a strong, kind, mature woman. My apologies for not coming to see that sooner. But what about the contract Sugimura? Son made with my father. He said the reparations will be immense if I refuse the marriage. I haven't heard anything about this contract. Have you seen the document? Excuse huh? me? Well, now that you mention it, no, I haven't. And neither your father nor our lawyers mentioned it to me. It seems he was lying and may have had the help of particular people within the company. You see, those who don't agree with my vision brought him into meetings with the hope that he would eventually take over. However, we don't need a politician in our midst, particularly considering the humble roots of our corporation. As for the marriage cancellation, I'll handle it. It may take some time, but it will be done. I promise. You have my thanks. Thank you. That must be a huge burden off our shoulders. Takakura-san enjoyed the rest of his coffee before heading home. I wonder if he just drank my cup as well. No, I finished mine. Today was a huge success. I was able to tell Takakura-san how I feel, and he actually understood. Not only about the company, but about Sugimura-san as well. I'd say it was like a 300% success. I was so afraid, but now that it's over, I think it was honestly pretty simple. It's always scary until you actually get in the thick of it, right? I only made it to this point because you were with me, though. Thank you. Thank you, Wackus. You're amazing. Should ask if I got a reward. You did too, you know. <laughs> I just sat here. Anyway, um, I only started trusting people again because you were by my side helping me. So I want to return the favor. Please confide in me if you ever need help. I'll be there for you. I can feel a strong bond of trust from Haru. Alright, rank 9. Oh wait, that means she's gonna try and ask me out. That's why Takura mentioned it. All right. Protect Chance the Shield Joker from an otherwise fatal attack. Attack, not attacked. Oh, well, that reminds me. Takakura-san said something uh, a little strange, didn't he? Th th that I like you? Goodness, why would he say that? I should choose my words carefully. Every time. Why do you think... He saw us as good friends. Yes. All these girls are so nice. Oh, I don't want to break their hearts, you know. Damn, it's a hard life being a player. <laughs> oh, okay. You're probably right. Sorry. I mean, I'm not a gold digger either, so... I mean, that's all we are, so... Oh, she looks sad. Oh. Anyway, um, I should go study. I have entrance exams coming up, so I don't really have time to be sitting around here. Um. But, um, thank you for today. Oh, she's really crushed. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I guess I should head home. Joker's just oblivious. She's like, yeah, well, I'm just leaving then. That's my cue to go. Jeez, Makoto. Uh, All these back. girls vying for my attention. And I chose you. Everywhere I go, it's just more and more rumors about Shido. Shit makes me sick. It's as though his stance against the Phantom Thieves has boosted his popularity. It's all a charade, though. More importantly, why ain't anyone complaining about the police? After all, their big catch committed suicide while he was in police custody. That's a scandal no matter way. No matter which way you cut it. 
I'm just glad they never made Wax Identity public. About that. Doesn't it seem a little odd to you? Well, they were trying to cover it up, right? They were trying to eliminate the Phantom Thieves. Yeah. I was wondering that myself. It felt as though the commotion surrounding the suicide calmed down far too quickly. It's like nobody cares about that anymore. Yep. They're too busy fanboying over Shido. God, this doesn't make any sense. It's creepy as hell. They're right. This is totally bizarre. What's going on here? I don't know, but time will tell. Right. EY's there, we can rank him up, which is great. Oh, yeah, there, we can rank her up, which is, you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's get a hanged persona. Hey, my friend. Here to rank up. I mean, oh, work. Freezing. Static electricity, of course. In that case, I got a big favor to ask you. I want to settle things with Tsuda. Will you come with me as a witness? I'll do my best to protect you, but I can't guarantee your safety. You can say no. Should I go with EY to meet with Tsuda as his witness? Oh, right. oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't have enough guts for that. I don't feel like I can go with EY until my guts reaches Lionheart. Damn it! I knew that was gonna bite me in the ass. I don't think I can watch that movie again because I've already watched it twice. I'm gonna need to, like, find a book or something. Oh. Well, that leaves Oya. I can rank her up tonight, I guess. Hang on. Damn, I should have got a luck reading from um, Chihaya, but I'd already made a fortune reading to get uh, closer with Shinya. So, oh yeah, hmm. we meet again. Man, we're accelerating our relationship quicker than I uh, ever expected. Neighborhood is with me. We can go stronger. Check on. Got any news? Seems she's trying to prove her partner's innocence in the death of a bureaucrat. Still, outrageous scoop is beyond our reach. Let's hang out. <laughs> I'm expecting a lot from you. Okay, take a seat. <laughs> hey, it's my number one guy. What kind of news you got for me? I'll smack you if it's not good enough. Hey, you're sure you're okay? <laughs> what do you mean? Are you worried about me, Lala Chan? You're usually kind of. Man, I haven't seen her drink this much in forever. What? <laughs> I haven't been drinking at all. I'm. Totally not drunk. Uh, something bad happened. Who? You're sharp, kid. Truth is, uh, my quota got doubled. It's gonna take like four times as much to get that much done, though. They're shackling me down, so I won't have time for anything else. <sighs> my chief's such a shit at the, uh, he must not like you. Yep, that bastard probably knows what something's up. Damn it. Before this, I was starting to feel like a real journalist again. The rush of investigating Kaio's case and covering the secrets hidden away by our corrupt society. But now, it's gonna be impossible to run my investigation with this quota. That doesn't sound good. Of course it's not good. What am I supposed to do? They'll fire me if I can't reach my quota. Hey, Lala-chan, if they fire me, can I live here? It still won't help my investigation, though. It's done over a year old and the authorities aren't doing shit. <gasps> Maybe Kayo really was the true culprit. Uh, come on, then. You should trust in her. She's your friend, right? That goes without saying. I mean, if I don't, who will? Watch your temper. <sighs> what am I doing? I mean, I'm the one who dragged Kayo into politics. It's my fault this ended up happening to her. You know, she started out in book publishing, mostly taking photos of nature and wild animals. She was a genius behind the camera, though. That's why I thought she'd make the perfect partner for me. Hey, you can't blame yourself. Kaio-chan was just as set on exposing the evils of society as you were. Isn't that right? Shit. But if I didn't get her involved in the first place... Damn it. An incident is all my fault. That's why I've got to get to the bottom of it. That's the spurt. Forget your quarter. Hell yeah. 
You know, it's weird how calm I get when I'm talking to you. It's almost like you actually understand me. Sorry. Oh, and uh, I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. The stress must have gotten to me. It's just all this quarter business is driving me crazy. I'm going to have to put all my focus on that for now. I'll still be counting on you for Phantom Thief stories, though. As long as you're up for it. Feels like Oya is really starting to rely on me. Mm. Damn, if only she leveled up guts instead of charm. That would be great. Right. Rank six, though. We're over halfway. I think I'm going to have to ease off my investigation for a while, too. I don't need any more eyes on me. Yeah, but the longer you wait, you know, the more outdated your evidence is going to get. But I might be able to ask some of my co-workers for help. Journalists will do anything for a scoop. Now then, I'll take any tidbits you have for me today. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I get back to drinking, though. This whole conversation really sobered me up. Cool. Kind of that. Mm, it's getting late. I'll see you later. Percentage still steady. In fact, it's slightly down. 2nd of December. Well then. Only one... Only thing left to do is wait for the outcome. Right. Let me check the status on my books. There's a chance maybe I haven't finished my guts one. Read. Long still open, right? If you're gonna read a book, do it at night. Oh. Who can I hang out with? Haru, we can rank up Haru. Shinya's not there. Great timing. Well, I'm quite happy about that at the very least. <sighs> Guts, gotta figure out a way to level that up safely. Time is running short. 